An $18 million expansion at a local children's museum is more than halfway done. Jade Leah Burns takes us behind the scenes to see how it's coming along. She's in our studio with more tonight. Jade. That's right, Jen. The executive director says this renovation is like nothing anyone has ever seen before. The Experience Children's Museum has entered the second phase of their three-part expansion. Current construction includes renovating the original building that was built in 1906. It was a hundred-year-old uh, livery um, and served us well for 25 years, but really now we had a chance to, you know, go down to the bare walls and start over. After unearthing some of the foundation, the project superintendent says they had to do a lot of remedial work to protect it from collapsing. This is due to the building's age. Some of the walls, you know, weren't perfect and, you know, so it, it made for a little extra work. Um, it is kind of neat to see how things were constructed, you know, a hundred, over a hundred years ago. One of the most noticeable differences will be the addition of three classrooms. Those who have visited the museum might remember this area as the original entrance. Brosig says it will help them serve more families. We know that we are a destination for birthday parties, field trips, uh, corporate events, and we just never had the space to host all of these people. So now the classrooms, if all three are opened up. They'll fit about 140 people. The second floor will focus on the sciences as well as a made in Erie display case. As for the lower level, it's going to be a traveling exhibit space that employees will be able to swap out with different themes. By completing the construction in phases, the museum was able to double their space and are expecting to have a grand opening celebration midsummer. It's been a really exciting process for not only me but my staff. This is a museum that you would see in any big city and we are really lucky to have it here in Erie. There was an interesting piece of history found in the lower level. Workers came across horse anchors embedded into the stone walls from the livery that was originally there in the early 1900s. Jen.